Hello and welcome to Thought for May the 4th. Our readings are Deuteronomy 21, Song of Solomon chapter 1, and Acts chapter 13. And our thought is, Beware what is said in the prophets. Our reading in Acts chapter 13 has many lessons about the actions of God and the reactions of men as the message of Jesus was spread. Paul and Barnabas came to Antioch in Pisidia, which is southern Turkey, and went into the synagogue and were invited to speak, we read in verse 15. Paul started by giving them a history lesson of God's actions in bringing the Israel through the wilderness and establishing them in the promised land, giving them kings, in particular David. Then his message jumps forward to John the Baptist. We must not underestimate the impact and spread of John's preaching because later at Ephesus, Paul is to find those who only know John's baptism, chapter 19, verse 3. And Ephesus is a long way from the Jordan. Paul's mention of John is a springboard for him to talk about Jesus and his message. He points out that those who lived in Jerusalem did not fully recognize him nor understand the utterances of the prophets which are read every Sabbath day, and they fulfilled them by condemning him. Verse 27. Paul knew that the same misunderstanding was going to happen in Antioch as they became jealous of the non-Jews when they accepted the message that everyone who believes in Jesus is freed from everything from which you could not be freed by the law of Moses, verses 38 and 39. Then comes the punchline. Beware, therefore, lest what is said in the prophets should come about, verse 40. It came about in the punishment that came on Jerusalem, and the same can be said today. Punishment is coming. Paul quoted the words God inspired the prophet Habakkuk to write, Look, you scoffers, be astounded and perish, for I am doing a work in your days, a work you will not believe, even if one tells it to you. Verse 41 and Habakkuk 1 verse 5. Today we have scoffers who deride the Bible, apparently learned men who scoff at the very thought that there is a God. One day, maybe soon, they will be astounded and perish. Then God's laws will come into action. No longer will the permissive laws of man corrupt mankind. Let us prepare for that time by understanding the utterances of the prophets, including Jesus and Paul, and taking them to heart, showing that we have not done so by our words and actions. Well, it's been wonderful to have you here with us today as we open up the pages of God's Word, remembering that that Word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Music.